So you want to root your Nexus 5. Well, you come to the right place. It's very easy. Anyone can do it. So let me get you started off with this link down below in the description you see here. And you want to come to this part where it says CF Auto Root Hammerhead. Click that and it'll download, but I already have it downloaded, so I don't need to download it again. But go into your downloads folder, wherever it's going to be downloaded to. And then you want to right click on it and extract all. And it'll open up in a new folder. Just move it out of the way and you'll see there's two of them now. You want to go to the unzipped one. That's the one you'll need. Now you don't need to do this, but I click on the empty space on the desktop and create a new folder so I can drag all these root files into the Nexus 5 folder that I created. Just to make everything easy in case I exit. But all you really need are these files. I no longer need the browser window, so I exit. I'm just closing down tabs so it's less clustery on my desktop so I know what I'm doing. Close that down and I keep this one. If you accidentally close it, just open it up on your Nexus 5 folder. For Windows, select Root Windows and you'll get this command prompt pop up and then we're ready to go to the next step. It's going to wipe everything off your phone. After it does its unlocking and rooting, it will void your warranty. So the next step you need to do is go into your settings, about phone, go into your build number and press it like six times and then you'll have opened the developer options and then you want to go into the USB debugging and now we're ready for the next step when you plug your phone into your PC your correct driver should be installed onto your PC are you still with me so far nothing crazy we all can do it now you want to power off your device next you want to hold volume up and down and power at the same time until you see yourself into the bootloader but don't be scared this is the safest routing I've ever done now we can press any key on our keyboard and we'll get this little window on our phones. <laughs> Make sure you push the volume up and go power for yes. And guess what? You don't have to do anything. Just sit back and watch your phone get unlocked and rooted. As you can see there you have a little red pirate Android. And you can see it here updating doing something there. Just the moment you press a key and it does its process to unlocking and rooting. It'll take you around two minutes until you can start booting up your phone. We see here the booting logo of the Nexus 5, which can take up to three minutes through its booting. Ta-da! Now you are welcome and go through its setup. And to see if everything is good, we got super user installed through this root method. And just to double check to see if everything's working correctly, you want to download root checker, install it, agree, and then verify root. You can give it permission and then you will see congratulations this device has root access well i hope you're happy now you're rooted but don't leave just yet i want to show you how i do a backup using rom manager so let me take you into recovery setup and you want to go to clockwork model recovery which will install your google nexus 5 version you can install the touch one but i like the old-fashioned one where you have to use the volume up and down keys press ok and our recovery management is changed, which is a good thing because it's easier to use now. Next step is to select backup current ROM. You can name it whatever you want just to have something to go back to in case you messed anything up. Press OK when you're ready and then it'll reboot your phone and it'll go into the clockwork recovery. And depending on how much data or apps you have at the time of the backup, it could take 5-10 minutes to do a whole entire backup. Now that you're going to have a safe backup to go to in case you mess anything up, you can do all those exposed framework tweaks without having to download or flash a custom ROM. So you could always remember that moment before you started customizing after your first root with this backup that I'm creating right now. And the backup is done. And now it's going to tell you ROM flash stock recover boot fix. This cannot be done. Just say no. Root is possibly lost. Just say no to both of them. And you won't have any problems. So don't worry. That's the only time you'll see that when you do a backup or a backup restore. Your phone will boot up at normal times. And now I'm going to go into ROM manager to check out the backup that I made. As you can see, I have three total. That's because I rooted my friend's Nexus 5 for this video. And it was just separate videos that I combined together. And the whole rooting process was the same, no problems, very fast. And as always, you're rooting at your own risk. Don't blame me if you mess anything up, which I believe you won't. Tune in for next video for uninstalling system apps, backing up apps, and so much more now that you are rooted with me. Until next time, see ya. Later.